Are you listening to the old troublemaker? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if I got a sound pit bull teacher, oh yeah. Whatever fear I have, his pit bull skill can pull it out of me. Yeah. Whatever weakness I have, his pit bull skill can stabilize it. Yeah. And where I'm weak through teaching, make me strong. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. The purpose of holiness mm. is to institute stability. Mm -hmm. You will hardly ever find these many men in a church. No. Today? Not today. Church is known for hardly no men going there. It's true. It can be a mega church. <laughs> 999 women and probably one man. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Holiness. The teachings of God. That's right. Holiness. The thinking of God. Mm. Holiness. The standard of God, the ways of God, holiness, the intelligence of God. That's right. When you get the intelligence of God in self that will bring us up to a higher level. That's true. See, the purpose of school is to bring one up to a higher level. Yeah. Church is supposed to bring you up to a higher uh -huh. knowledge of self. That's right. You cannot know self no more than you know God. Amen. You have to learn God which brings you into the knowledge of yourself. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old man? Amen. Go back to Revelation real quick. Back My at, time is getting away. Back in Revelation 2 and verse 1. What is it? Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write. Uh -huh. These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. That had the church in his right hand. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. What else? I know thy works. Do you hear God talking? I know thy works. You that are here, you that are watching, what do you think you can pull over God? Nothing. Nothing. He know you're downsetting, he know you're uprising, he know your thoughts are far off. That's right. What do you mean he know my thoughts are far off before you born? The thoughts you will have, he already know them. Amen. You're five now, he know what thoughts you're going to have at 25. Yeah. You're 15 now, he know what thoughts you're going to have at 35. That's right. He know your thoughts are far off. That's right. And what? I know thy work. I know thine work. And thy labor. And thy labor. And thy patience. He's talking to the church. Amen. I know your works, I know your labor, and I know your patience. And how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And you cannot bear them that are evil. And thou hast tried them. Thou hast tried them. Which say they are apostles. Which say they are the representatives of God. And are not. And how did we find them? And has found them liars. Liars. Amen. In order for the church to investigate the preacher, mm -hmm. the church got to have knowledge of the laws of God. That's right. That's right. Otherwise than that, that man, that false prophet mm -hmm. becomes qualified mm -hmm. to deceive the church. Amen. Look at the churches. If they was a God of a truth, you would never go to a church and they got a weak revival and a different fool every night. <laughs> That's right. No way. A different false prophet every single night. Every night. And all of them got the same thing. Mm -hmm. They come from Texas. Mm -hmm. God got a miracle with your name on it. Yeah. They come from Oklahoma. Do you want a new car tonight? Do you <laughs> want a new house tonight? They come from Africa. Do you want a new goat? <laughs> Do you want a new mule? Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. They come from Florida. Yeah. Do you need your bills paid? Are you behind in your bills? That's right. Get a piece of paper. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want some paper. <laughs> Every single night, My it's going to be a different hustler. Hustler. That's going to come in your church. That's right. And some of you parents, it's amazing how you can't see it, but your children can that's now your okay. children telling you, come on, Pop, you believe this trash? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. And father's like, well, son, don't worry about it. The Lord work in mysterious ways. Ahead. The Lord is not that mysterious. <laughs> no. That Go God gonna make a sucker out of you. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. God's word ain't no hustle. No, no. 
I'm going to say it again. God word. Yeah. There's no hustle. No hustle. I don't need a mink coat. That's right. That's right. I don't need a mink hat. Amen. Amen. I don't need to look like a pimp. Right. That's right. I don't need to look like a pimp and God's women don't need to look like hoes. Go ahead. Preach it, brother. Preach it. I don't need to be a bling bling preacher. I don't need diamonds. No. I don't need bracelets. That's right. I don't need a bunch of chains around my neck. That's right. I need God. God. Amen. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. This is serious milk. Serious. Serious. Go ahead. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. I want to show you God's church versus what you call church. Right. That's right. What they call church. Today, the preacher got you thinking he's blessed mm -hmm. because he's wealthy. Right. And he became wealthy off your back. That's right. You made him wealthy. You made him like that. Yeah, he bragged about his wealth. Mm -hmm. Then he used himself as a measuring stick. Mm. If God is blessing you, then you should have a house like me. Yeah. If God is blessing you, you should drive a car like mine. That's right. I don't have to live like you or drive what you drive to be blessed. No. Who That's are true. you? The measuring stick is God oh, himself. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? They have committed. Stop letting these TV hustlers. Hustlers. Make a church going, Bible toting, gospel singing sucker out of you. That's right. That's right. You sit under these lies for years. Drive the church happy. <laughs> you should sing a new song as a result of following the liar. Right. I'm going to be robbed today. Robbed today. Going to be robbed in church today. Treat you going to duke me like you did last week. Yeah, going to be robbed today. Yeah, robbed today. Robbed today. Going to get duped by the preacher today. Going to go to hell when he's done with me. Oh, going to be robbed today. Oh, yes. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. <laughs> you understand? Amen. Go ahead, thank God. Go ahead, brother. all your heart. You might as well sing that with all your heart. All your heart. <laughs> what good is complaining about the church you're in, but you ain't got sense enough to stop going? That's right. You complain about it. One thing I'm glad about the Truth of God telecast, it makes you look at church different. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You look at church different now. That's right. You find yourself learning more by watching that program than all the years you've been going to church. Amen. And now when you become more scripturally educated, mm -hmm. the less the preacher is able to trick you. Right. Now you're able to see through his lies and schemes and maneuvers. That's right. Before then, we was church-going dummies. Yes. Just getting caught up in the emotion of singing. Jumping out of our chair, just shouting. Go ahead, man. Don't know nothing. Just shuffle dancing. Shuffle. Don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right, man? I came out of a church just like that. My Lord. Where jumping and shouting was the call of the day. And your spiritual growth, or what's supposed to determine your spiritual growth, was how long you shout, yeah. how often you shout, and you ain't know nothing. You know nothing. But church fool. <laughs> That's right. That's true. You know, I'm told in some kingdoms they have the kingdom of the fool. Yeah. You yeah. come out, one half a suit, one color, one one color, come out with little old balls on his hat That's to right. make the king jolly. That's right. <laughs> you have the church fool. Amen. Amen. The jester. Jester. 
the joker. That's right. And you still got him. Still got him. Mm. That's a disgrace. Yes, it is. Many don't like what I'm saying, and I don't care if you don't. That's right. You know it's the truth. That's right. Listen. And thou hast tried them which say they are Try apostles. Them. Test them. Mm. Try. How do we find these artificial apostles? And has found them liars. 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 How can you be an apostle and denounce the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ? My Lord. How can you be an apostle and never spoke in tongues? Never. No Holy Ghost. How can you be an apostle without the Holy Ghost? Wow. You probably got some men around here that say they are apostles. Mm -hmm. You won't find an apostle ordaining women to preach. No way. No, no. You won't find an apostle's wife, the first lady. No. No, you won't. An apostle steadfast in the apostle's doctrine. That's right. Listen. Thou hast tried them which say they are, are apostles. And what are they? And are not. And? And has found them liars. What else? And has borne and has patience and for my name's sake has labored. All right. And has not fainted. And ha what? And has not fainted. Oh. Talking to the church in Ephesus. That's right. Told them they haven't fainted. Amen. That's what I want to encourage you to do. Don't faint. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Endure hardness. Amen. Endure hardness as a good soldier. That's right. Pastor Jennings, I don't never want to fail. Let me give you a good lesson. Failure is a part of life. Yeah. If you never fall, you don't know that side of self, how you will react with that experience. That's true. Failure challenges your ability to endure. That's right. Chal failure challenges your survival instincts. Amen. If you always used to eat and used to eat and used to eat, and you don't know how you would act when you if you're hungry. Yeah. So if you got a lot of food in front of you, you practice temperance mm -hmm. by not getting all what you can get, just in case something happened, and you can't have all you want. You got discipline. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. So failure is a part of life. Yeah. It gives you a testimony. Once you experience God's arm, reach down from heaven and pull you up. Amen. The prophet says, rejoice not by enemies, for when I fall, I shall arise. See, one thing about it, if you fall, look out. Look out. You will have some folk just happy. Yes. That's and they'll true. rejoice. Rejoicing. And there'll be some of the same ones that say, they're your brother mm -hmm. and they are your sister. That's right. They will be so happy. Happy. But then when they see you come back, they upset. That's true. They'll be so upset. That's right. Why? They want you down there. Amen. Amen. What did the Holy God say? Oh, this is so good. And has not fainted. Have not fainted. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. I have somewhat against thee. Now, God Almighty showed the church what good potential that they had. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of their good potential and their development, he still had a complaint That's about right. them. That's right. Many of us is too immature to accept complaint, but we always want to accept compliments. Yeah. You got to be able to take both from God. That's right. If God got a complaint, take it. Take it. Amen. Don't waste your breath and energy and get mad at me. You better take it. That's it. And best you take it now rather than take it later. Take it later. Listen. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. What is it? Because thou hast left thy first love. Hold it. Left thy first love. God say I got a complaint because you have left thy him. first love. You left, left him. Yeah. Amen. When you left him, yeah. when you depart from God, mm -hmm. then you got to have everlasting trouble. That's true. What you mean first love? You were created for God's glory right off the bat. Right. The first love is God. That's right. You was created for God's glory. He said, yeah, I have made him. Mm -hmm. Tell the north to give up and tell the south to keep not back. Bad. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the end of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name. Yeah, yeah I have made him for my glory. my glory. Your first love is God. Even when you was ignorant of him. That's true. He still kept you when you didn't know him. That's true. When you was arrogant and self-centered. That's right. He still kept you when you didn't know him. You know him. High as a kite, almost OD'd, got stabbed, got shot. God still kept you. Amen. When you didn't know him. Amen. How 
how can we afford to have this arrogance and conceitment because of a little education? Education without God, you're nothing but an educated fool. That's right. God is everything. everything. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Logic and God don't mix. No. And when you get people, they get a little book learning under their belt. They try to look at the things of God from a logical perspective. That's you right. You make a fool out yourself. That's right. Huh? Amen. My God just says that heaven is higher than the earth. So is God way from your way. So is God thoughts from your thoughts. That's Face right. the fact. You that are watching, God don't think like you do. No. He just don't do it. Just, no. It is my job. I'm commissioned <laughs> to preach the thoughts of God. That's right. And that's the people complain. Yeah. That's the complaint. Somebody wrote me from this organization headed by Paul Morton, mm. full gospel Baptist. Mm. Told me they want me to come on board and fellowship with them. God thoughts ain't like yours. No way. God is not a Baptist. No. No, he's not. No, God is not a Baptist. No. You out here, if you're a Baptist, you're not in what God has. No. God ain't never told you to be Baptist. No. God ain't never told you to be non-denominational. No. Nope. God ain't told you to be Pentecostal. Amen. God didn't tell you to be a Catholic. No. God didn't tell you to be a Mormon. Amen. God didn't tell you to be a Muslim. Right. God said be holy. Be holy. And if God said that, why are you bragging about being this other garbage? That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening? Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to soak you a little. Amen. You want to be a good Christian? Huh. Then you better do it on God terms. That's right. Do you hear the holy book? Is everybody all right? Amen. Come on, son. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. All right, God showed the church church's good potential. Now we're going to hear God's complaint. I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Now, when you start drifting away from God, you start changing. Changing. The things that God wants you to uphold, now you start to disbelieve. That's right. Hmm? That's right. There are preachers I know that used to believe that you can have one wife, just one. Now them weak fellas start picking up remarriage and divorce. Yeah. Well, I take that back. They're not preachers I know. They're just some fellas. Some fellas. They're just fellas. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's it. Amen. That's right. It's amazing how folks go backward. Mm. Don't go forward. The devil objective is to make you go backward, backward. To build up again the things you destroy. Right. And they say you make yourself a transgressor. What did the holy book say? Nevertheless, I am somewhat against thee. What is it? Because thou hast left thy first love. You left God. Remember therefore. Uh oh. Remember I therefore. I want everybody to get this good. Amen. Pay close attention. Mm -hmm. You that are watching this morning, stop staring around and sit down. Right. And you that just got in from church, sit down and get this. Because you ain't learned nothing. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, brother. The holy book says what? Remember therefore. Remember therefore. From whence thou art fallen. Where you fell. And repent. Amen. Amen. Remember what? Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. Remember, remember where you come from. Remember. remember where you fell at. Right. And do what? And repent. Then explain to me how is it you're so anxious to make yourself a measuring stick to everybody else. Mm. Oh, you ain't going to church much as me. You don't fast much as me. Right. You don't read the Bible much as me. Who are you? That's right. But I got to read like you or come to church like you or pray like you. Go ahead. I got to be like Jesus. Amen. Not like you. Amen. Good teaching. Good teaching, brother. Go ahead. Man. Amen. If a woman got an ankle chain on and you got a necklace on, don't complain about an ankle chain. No. No, no. If a woman got one weave in and you got the whole wig, don't complain about the weave in. Don't complain. Am I right? That's right. A little leaven, leaven if the whole up. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Remember where God brought you from. Remember, therefore. Let me give you a broad. A broader picture. Mm -hmm. As I've said before, there was a prophet, the son of Bullseye. His name was Brother Ezekiel, better known as the Son of Man. Right. God Almighty told Ezekiel, 
to make him some bread. bread. Make some bread, Ezekiel, for himself. Yeah. Not for God, but for himself. And he had to make it out of dung. dung. <laughs> Glory to God. He didn't say have some bread and some dip. He had to make the bread out of the dung from animals and from his. That's right. Eat it as barley cakes. <laughs> I want to show you this. In Read the, this. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 4 and at verse 11. Thou shalt also, thou shalt drink also water by measure. Thou shalt do what? Also drink water by measure. Drink water by measure. The sixth part of an hen from time to time shalt thou drink. Yes. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. Let's see how to make it. And thou shalt bake it with dung. Thou shalt bake it with dung. That cometh out of man in their sight. <laughs> yep. Then said I, ah, Lord God. Wait a minute. Ezekiel's response was what? Ah, Lord God. Ah. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Ah, ah, Lord God. That's right. Uh huh. Amen. All right. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. Now, God ain't like us. No way. You see dung, you don't want no part of it. Mm. Do you? No. You don't want no parts of it. Mm -mm. Yes, yeah, God gonna tell a man to make cake, barley cakes. Barley cakes. <laughs> Lord. Mm -hmm. My Lord. That's a cake, brother. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's right. Listen. And and thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And what? And thou shalt bake it with dung. Oh, bake it. Bake it. Can you imagine a scent? Bake it in, in whose presence? With dung that cometh out of man in their sight. I want you to bake it while mm. men is looking at you. Looking at you. My Lord. Mm. And he had to do what God said. He had to, mm. Don't worry, I'll show you what this means. <laughs> no. I don't want no one to get over zealous and go run into the bathroom to make a collection. <laughs> That's right. They want to come bringing to me. Pastor Jim, this is what God means? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say? Oh. <laughs> I'm a big, it's like Ezekiel. Oh. <laughs> come on, son. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. Thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. And thou shalt bake it with dung. Bake it with dung. That cometh out of that man. That come out of man. In their sight. Uh -huh. And the Lord said. And the Lord said. Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. And. Whether I will drive them. Now yeah. listen. It is our nature not to mingle in dung. Correct? That's right. All right. We don't want no parts of it. When you smell it, like, oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know, sometime on these country roads, you can ride by on a nice summer day. Man, like something outside is dead. Yeah. You don't care how hot it is. You crank them windows up, you be like, oh, God. The dung mm. represent past. Mm. All that good food you ate goes through conversion it changes so now all them good greens and vegetables now what you ate in the past becomes the present mm. so we reject we accept our actions of the past but they have a tendency to come haunt us in the present that's true that's true and even though you enjoy the actions of the past now when you face with them in the present yeah your whole outlook on them is different different because now you realize the stench mm. that they give off go ahead man. are you listening to the old go man? ahead go ahead man. so you reject the mm. past becoming present right and now you work to dismiss the present Knowing is a result of your madness in the past. Go ahead, brother. Dung is something of the past. Yeah. 
out of a enjoyable meal or is it something in the present from an enjoyable meal of the past right. we don't want it but here you got a farmer hmm. he gets the dung he want it he want, it. <laughs> he want that fertilizer that's right because he knows there's nutrients in it look at all all that good corn that's on your table I want you to think the next time you eat it. <laughs> the corn, the greens, the beans, the potatoes, what we reject. Yeah. The farmer, he knows. Farmer knows. He mingled it in the soil, drive his tractor through the soil, turning over the earth to mix the nutrients and release the oxygen. Mm. Then he come planting. All the present now with the fertilizer. Yeah. What is he doing? Planning for the future. <laughs> you have to look at your past dung, your past life. Right. And see what you presently learn. Mm -hmm. And what good you able to learn and abstract from the madness of your past life. Use it in the present. For the betterment of yourself in the future. Right. Good teaching. Good teaching. When you say I was a sinner, mm. you're saying I was a dung lover. That's right. <laughs>